Well, Yvonne, one of the positive things that we get to do is to put out information about nonprofits and different organizations in our community. And we've been doing that again for 18, 18 years. 18 years? Feel old again. <laughs> At least it's the same 18 years. Yeah, exactly. You know? <laughs> exactly. And doing interviews and getting information out about what's going on in our community and also a lot of the civic organizations and the nonprofit organizations mm -hmm. in our community get some information out there. And right now we have information on Nalcasa that we're going to share. And Nalcasa is a local nonprofit that recruits, trains, and supports a group of community volunteers who advocate for the best interest of locally abused and neglected children. And Nalcasa is the Nelson County chapter of mm -hmm. CASA, which is an international organization, I believe, that works uh, for abused children mm -hmm. in, particularly in our community. And we have a, a video called Emily's Dragon which was produced by CASA in Texas, but it shows the plight of some abused children and what CASA is doing to try and help those individuals in our community. Mm -hmm. And there are an estimated 100 abused or neglected children in the Nelson County court system at present. Wow. So that's a lot of kids, that is you know, a lot of particularly kids. for that one county, mm -hmm. you know. So, and that's just for Nelson County that we have the figures right here because we're not talking about Marion and Washington at present. Mm -hmm. And in April, we did a little interview it, in Washington County and they had a walk here in Marion County as well because Child Abuse Awareness Month right. was in April, but it's something that you need to be aware of all the time. Yes. And CASA is working all the time to try and get this information out there. They're actively working to provide support to as many of the children as possible and to provide critical support to the youngest members of Nelson County. Not a single volunteer for NALCASA has a background in education or child abuse prevention, yet each volunteer is doing something remarkable for that local child. And they do get training in doing that too. Mm -hmm. So this is a video that we're going to share, so it might be difficult to watch, but it's important that you see it with information on the CASA program and what that does, and particularly what Nell Casa here in Central Kentucky is doing. And if you have inf need more information on that program or know of some abused children that need to be informed, somebody needs to be informed, the phone number you can call is 502-331-6325. And that is for the Nell Casa program. And they'd be happy to talk with you again. It's 502 231 6325 and here now is the video, Emily's Dragons. A dragon lives in my house. No one would believe me if I told them, but it's true. Dragons sleep most of the time, but you never know when they'll wake up. You can't relax, not even for a second. If you have a dragon in your house, you need to be good at hiding. I'm a really good hider. You need to figure things out for yourself. Because you're not supposed to talk about dragons. Not with anyone. At first, I tried to do everything right. I tried to be so quiet. I tried to be perfect. I thought maybe if I didn't mess up, if I made myself so small, even made myself disappear, the dragon wouldn't hear me. Maybe he wouldn't even wake up at all. But no matter how quiet, how small I tried to be, the dragon would always hear me, and he would always wake up. Being quiet didn't work, so I got loud. Pretending I wasn't scared. Pretending I was just as tough as any dragon. But pretending... is just pretending. Nothing worked. Nothing could make it stop. That's when I realized it must be something wrong with me that dragons hate. 
When dragons wake up, they're angry. They want to hurt. Sometimes it leaves a mark. Sometimes, sometimes it's a hurt you can't see, that you don't even have words for. Those are the worst of all. Sometimes I wish I was a dragon. I let out all the things that hurt, all the things that don't make sense. I'd burn down everyone, burn down everything. But I'm not a dragon. I'm a little girl. And I'm all alone. I don't remember what they said when they came. I just remember thinking, when something's broken, when you can't fix it anymore, when it's no use to anyone, you throw it away. If you've never fought a dragon, then you wouldn't understand. You can't just leave. You can't just run. A dragon will always find you. A dragon will always hurt you. And the more a dragon wants you, the less anyone else will. New faces, new places, new dragons to watch out for. They wouldn't listen even if I could tell them. I know it's true. Because they never ask. Of all the things I tried, nothing helped me stop the dragons. Not even a little bit. But maybe, the most important thing in fighting dragons is not doing it all by yourself. Maybe you need someone to help you through all the confusing things. The things that might seem scary at first, but can actually help you get far, far away from any dragons. Someone who sticks up for you, even when you're not there. Someone who knows where you came from and what you've been through. Someone who's on your side. Not just when things are easy, but when they're hard too. Maybe you'll see that dragons aren't waiting for you around every corner. Maybe they don't live in every house. Maybe it's not even your fault they're so angry. Maybe you can stop hiding. Maybe you don't have to be perfect. You 
You don't have to make yourself small. You don't have to always be ready to fight. Because there will always be dragons. But there will always be brave heroes too. So again, that was a PSA that we had from Nell Casa, Nelson County Casa, and if you need more information, they are an organization that advocates for the best interest of the locally abused and neglected children in Central Kentucky. Their number is 502-331-6325, and you can get some more information on that. Yes, indeed.